I grew up with having the fear of not being good enough uh, for my dad. So, okay, I'm going to go deep now. Sorry, but for a very long time, all I was waiting for is the approval of my dad. I got it from billions of people. I just wanted it from my dad. So it is so easy to forget who we are and who we belong to. I know for me, there's countless of times where I can doubt who I am. I can doubt my abilities. I can doubt my self-worth. I can doubt my identity. And I need to remind myself that I am a daughter of God. One thing that time and time again we forget to do is remember that our identity isn't in the things that we do. It isn't in our jobs, it isn't in our careers, and it isn't in our talents. It is in who created us. I want to touch upon something for the ladies today. Ladies, who do you feel most valued by? Is it the person you're in a relationship with? Is it your girl group? Or is it God? Men, why are you stressing out? You're a son of the most high. There is nothing that you can't do. I think we need to encourage more and more and remind each other who we belong to. There's something so freeing once you realize who you belong to. You will walk in rooms knowing that God has got your back. You will speak on podiums knowing that God has got your back. You will go through trials knowing that God has got your back. I think I need to get this message more out there. I need to be telling people to walk like they know who they belong to. One of my favourite scriptures is Psalm 139 verse 14, which reads, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I remember this scripture since I was a child. It was taught to me in like a, you know, Sunday class, but it stayed with me. And because that has now stayed with me, I remember that I have been created for a purpose. There should be nothing that makes me doubt that I am meant to be in the room that I am in today. Now, I know we can't always feel 100%. There are times where I don't want to get out of bed. There are times where I'm looking at my schedule and I'm thinking, I just want to lock off this, this, this and that. But how much more can I celebrate who I am? Because I'm a daughter of God. I'm gonna keep saying this until we remember it. But honestly, God has given us something great. He's given us life. This temple that we're in, yes, it is temporary, but I don't wanna look back when I'm 50, 60, 70 saying, rah, like I've wasted my time here. I wanna utilize what God has given me because I belong to him. I can relate in a sense of wanting approval from man. No, <laughs> it's a waste of time. Get it from God. There are a few scriptures that I want us to look at. It's very moving when people like celebrities even realize, regardless of the wins you get, the awards you get, the places that you step into, the only way you'll get full satisfaction is if you remember who you are in your creator. Um, after selling a whole lot of records and going on tour and being able to buy myself a lot of expensive things, um, after a period of time passed, I still wasn't a happier person. And it, um, it wasn't, had a lot of people coming in and out of my life, a lot of people I couldn't trust, a lot of people I know who loved me just for what I had and what I was doing. <laughs> you know, as opposed to who I was as a person. And it, um, it really wasn't until I, you know, I um, found myself, well, actually I found God, that's when I found myself. And, um, and I realized that, I realized that, um, that none of this stuff here, it makes us who we are, you know? And um, don't pollute what you really are, y'all, because what you really are, is you come from a source, a very important source, and that's God. And we can't forget that. It's not always a popular opinion. I know a lot of times you wanna say, I got here because of merit. I mean, yes, well done, you worked hard, but don't let that be the thing that drives you. Don't let that be the thing that gives you your worth because it comes and it goes and sometimes it gets taken away. 
I'm willing to be on this journey with you where we get full security in the one who made us. If you know of someone recently that's been complaining about the situation that they're in or doubtful about maybe a relationship or trying to get into somewhere, share this video with them. Help them to remember who they belong to. The minute you know who you belong to, things change. I'm gonna end with this clip that went viral over the summer. I'm pretty sure this girl got progressively and progressively better because she knew who she belonged to. Love you guys and I'll see you next week.